The preceding program does not necessarily reflect the views of Charter Communications or WESL 984 or WESL 18 or any of its affiliates. Good morning, I'm Philomena Johnson here with Dining in the Metro. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're going to be featuring three restaurants in our area. The first restaurant is going to be Papa Vito's in Belleville, Illinois. And Papa Vito's is known for their great chicken wings, their great salads, and their infamous pizzas. Also, the second restaurant we're going to be going to today is going to be the best fish house over in East St. Louis. And we hear that at Best Fish House, their fish is so wholesome and so fresh, and they give you enough for two people to eat off of. So they have big portions. And lastly, we're going to be going to our third restaurant, but you know what? I'm going to let that be a surprise for you. So just stay with us today. Johnson with Hayosa and Jesus Production. Welcome to Dining in the Metro. Today we're featuring Papa Vito's restaurant here in beautiful downtown Belleville. The locals have been talking about how good the food is, how good the chicken wings are, the salads, the sandwiches, and everything else that they serve in the restaurant. Let's go in, let's take a look and see what's cooking. Hazen's Productions. Is Katie the manager here today? Yes, I can go grab her. Sure. Uh, while you're grabbing her, can I review one of your menus? Yes, go right ahead. Okay, great. Thank you. Hello. My name is Channel Hi. And you are being featured today on Dining in the Metro. Wonderful. Yes, yes. A lot of clients have had a lot of buzz, a lot of talk about. How did you serve here, the, the wings, yes. the sandwiches, and I heard about the infamous salads that you have. They are wonderful. Yes, yes. So once again, um, you're here today, you're being featured because your clientele loves your food. Well, so we want to share it with everyone else. Well, how about you come back in the kitchen and we'll show you how we make some of the stuff. I'd love to. All right. Thank you. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and make for you is our seasonal salad. It changes with the seasons because we use only the freshest fruit and the freshest spring mix. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the lettuce. It's okay. a baby spring mix. It's very, very fresh around the spring and summer season. Mm -hmm. What we are known for is making very large salads. People say you can usually have about three to four people per salad. Uh -huh. So it definitely is made for a family. Wow. <laughs> yes. As you can see, very fresh. The first thing we're going to add is a little bit of the Provel cheese. Just sprinkle it on top. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to get fresh strawberries. We cut them fresh about four to five times a day. Okay. And you're going to get a nice portion right on the salad. Okay. One of the reasons why a lot of people love this salad is because of the color. As you can see, you're going to have the red, you're going to have the blue. Yes, yes, all those needed nutrients. That is correct. <laughs> so you got a nice portion of our pineapple on there. The next thing we're going to add is our blueberries. Okay. And like I said, nice portion. Go ahead and sample and just taste how fresh one of those are. Mm. Very, very, very fresh. I mean, you can just taste the freshness just coming out of it. It's very fresh, yes. We get our delivery about three to four times a week to make sure that all of our produce stays, like I said, as fresh as possible, especially on our fruit salad. Yes. 
the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add is our sugar pecan. It's kind of the crouton for this salad. Mm -hmm. What we do is we put a little butter, salt, and sugar, and brown sugar. We run it through the oven. So it's going to give kind of a sweet, salty flair to the salad. Mm -hmm. The perfect mixture. Okay, so basically it's caramelized. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. The last thing you're going to add is your shaved Parmesan. You're going to kind of just put it on top of the salad. We are an Italian restaurant. We do love our cheese. We make sure that we hit almost every single one of our items with it. Okay. And then the finishing touch. This mm -hmm. is a homemade strawberry poppy seed dressing. It's made with our house dressing poppy seed. We actually take fresh strawberries, cut them up, mash them in the bottom. We add a little bit of sugar and a couple other few ingredients, can't tell you. But uh, it's very, very good. So if you want to go ahead and try a little bit of that as well. Okay. A little sample for you. Wow. Now this is what I have heard some of the locals talked about. And I tell you, they are on point. That is wonderful. It tastes so good. You can just taste all the flavor. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's a perfect pair for this salad. Mm -hmm. So this is how we would walk it out to the table. Like I said, enough portion for probably one, two, maybe even three. All right, now that we're finished with it, would you go ahead and like to try to taste it? Wow, our finished product, it just looks so good. Now, she prepares her famous chicken alfredo pizza. She starts by using fresh noodles. She adds alfredo sauce to the crust. And she adds alfredo sauce on the top of the noodles. She also adds olive oil. And she adds big chunks of chicken. And more chunks of chicken. She tosses. She's also adding freshly cut tomatoes. Now she adds more pieces of chicken. Wow, and the smell is so flavorful. She's adding cheese to the pizza. She's also taking the noodles and she's putting the noodles on the pizza crust. Now she's adding spinach as she's layering it evenly across the top of the pizza as a topping. Wow, that looks so good. Now, she's also adding more Alfredo sauce to the top of the pizza. She's adding more cheese to the top of the pizza. And even more cheese to the pizza. Mmm, that looks good. Now, the pizza is up and ready. So while the pizza is getting ready, I'm going to go out to the dining room and wait on my delicious pizza to come. All right. This just came out of the oven, nice and fresh. Oh man, that looks so good. Good. Well, I hope you enjoy. Yes, I think I'm just gonna dig right in and, and try this slice. Go and ahead. I'm you, it's just. Wow. Oh man, look at this cheese. <gasps> I tell you, this is just so, and you can just smell the aroma that's coming off of it. Mm. Mm. This is so, so good. Uh, mm. You can taste the cheese, you can taste the chicken, you can taste the spinach, and all of it tastes so fresh and so healthy for you. I have dined so sufficiently here today at Papa Vito's in Belleville, Illinois. And I tell you, the, the food was so good and so flavorful. And if you'd like for your restaurant to be featured on Dining in the Metro, contact us today at www.hiosaproductions.com. Until the next time, take care. Bye.
Nancy Robinson, owner of Artists Around Cakes, and I'm Summer Robinson. Some of our favorite memories are memories we've created for others. Whether it's a birthday, a wedding, or a baby shower with over 36 years experience, your guests are sure to enjoy. Let us create a memory for your special day. Please visit our showroom at 507 Sherman Street, Belleville, Illinois. We look forward to serving you. Johnson with Dining in the Metro and today we're here at the best fish house in downtown East St. Louis and you know we've heard they have some of the best and the freshest fish in the whole entire world so what we're gonna do today we're gonna go in and we're gonna just see how fresh this fish is come on and join me Welcome to the Best Fish House. I'm Kayla. How can I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm Philomena Johnson. I was dining in the Metro. Is the owner Marlon in town? Um, yes, he is. Okay. Can I get him for you? Yes, and uh, while you're getting him, you mind if I have a menu? Oh, yes. Okay, great. Thanks. Boy, I can't wait to taste this fish. <laughs> wow, such a large selection. Hello, how you doing, ma'am? My name is Marla Lee, owner of Best Fish House. Man. Yes, hi Marla. I'm Phil Amina Johnson with Dining in the Metro. Yeah. And I'm here today to see just how good this fish is. I've been hearing so much about it. Okay, come on around and, uh, and come to the kitchen. Okay, I can't wait. Actually, I'm the owner of the establishment, but this is the cooking expert, Miss Georgia Gibson, which is my kitchen manager. Let me introduce you to her. This is Georgia Gibson. This is the expert here in the kitchen. So I'll introduce you to Miss Gibson. Hey, guys. How are you? Just fine yourself? Just fine. Wow, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. We got that best fish house batter going on. Okay. So is that a special season? Oh, yeah. It definitely is. Oh, it looks all fresh. Well, thank you. And I hope you enjoy it. Would you like to have some? Uh, yes, yes. I Wow, I cannot wait. It looks so good, man. Oh, boy. Here you are. Oh, man. This Here's is just, just the way I like it. I mean, it's just a golden, nice golden brown. And it doesn't look like it's, it's cooked too hard. But hey, let me test it. I'm going to tell you my results. All right. <laughs> It's not hard, and I tell you, it is enough to feed two people. <laughs> so I am so happy that, I mean, wow, this is just, mm, it has flavorful, has a lot of good flavor to it. And I, that special seasoning, uh, I know you can't tell me what it is, oh, but no. I, can, I can say it tastes good. It, it's it the so best. Flavor. Yeah, it does taste the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I hope you like to join. Have some more if you like. Okay, well, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining with us on Dining in the Metro today here at Best Fish House in East St. Louis. And also, I'd like to thank our expert fish cooking here, cooker here and uh, her manager or whatever her title is. But I tell you what, she, I can tell you she's an expert in cooking because this fish is so good. So, Mrs. Gibson, thank you so much. No problem. For, having, thank you. for allowing us to be in your kitchen today. Thank, thank you. <laughs> have a good day. Yes, I am going to have a good day because I'm going to finish eating this fish shark. All right. <laughs> Instead of me standing out here making googly eyes at the handsome police officer, I've got to get back in to interview patrons. 
Hi, Felix. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to see if I can interview one of the patrons here today at the Best Fish House. There's been a lot of traffic going in and out, so I'm going to see who I can grab next. Oh, excuse me, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Just fine, I'm filming in downtown tonight with Dining in the Metro, and I see today you're patronizing the Best Fish House here at East St. Louis. Yeah. So, what do you have to say about the food? We've been hearing a lot about how good the food is here. What do you have to say? The food is excellent. First of all, I mean, not only today do I patronize, I patronize often. Often? Yeah, yes, often. The fish is very good here. Some of the best fish I've had, and the portions are healthy. And uh, the owner is an excellent guy, too. I've been knowing him for a long time. Okay, well, thank you so much for taking the time out for sharing your experience with me. And hey, enjoy that fish. I certainly will. Thank okay, you. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. And now I'm here with the owner of the best fish house in East St. Louis. And so we're just going to see what he has to say and he can give us additional information about what they offer here. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for showcasing my establishment today. Uh, as you can see, we have the best security, the best staff, the best service, which allows us to be called the best fish house. Um, if I can also add that we will be open on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. in order to get your f uh, food uh, doing Sundays after Sunday services so we love to have you and uh, we also have a brand new product which is the best fish house gift card and what this card is is almost like you're having your own credit card with best fish house and if you spend fifty dollars or more we give you ten percent back so fifty dollar purchase of this card will give you fifty five dollars in food products and if you do a hundred dollars on the gift card, we'll give you $110 on the gift card. So we're going to give you something back for shopping with the best fish house. So we appreciate you. Okay, well, that's wonderful. Now, now Marlon, now let, let's see the card. Now, is this card for me or? That, that's your, your own personal card. As a matter of awesome. fact, I got one for uh, all of your staff. <laughs> hey, well, that's all right. And you know what? I tell you what, I don't mind sharing good information with good people. So I'm going to let our viewers have a closer look at what this card looks like. All right. All righty then. Okay, so you can get your gift card here today at uh, Best Fish House. And thank you so much thank for you. sharing that with us. And is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Well, actually, like I say, I, if, if you're looking for fish, this is the place for it. Best Fish House. Thank you. Okay, and thank you once again for dining, with Metro, dining in the Metro. Thank you. Wow, well, there you have it, people. I tell you, here at the Best Fish House in downtown East St. Louis, the fish is flavorful, it's fresh, and it is superb. And I tell you, man, the food was just so good. And they even give you enough portions for two or three people to eat off the plate. So once again, we've had a good experience here at the Best Fish House in downtown East St. Louis. Thank you so much for dining with us, with Dining in the Metro. And don't forget, if there's a restaurant that you believe that has some of the best food in town, contact our website today at www.hiosaproductions.com. Take care. Bye. Okay, people, this is day three of the eating excursion, and I'm on my way in the Visitor Information Center so I can pick up some books and get information on more restaurants around the St. Louis area. Oh, and by the way, I met this young lady and she gave me some good information about uh, the restaurants that she as a local think has some outstanding food. And that restaurant is Mom's Kitchen and Soul Food Restaurant. She also shared with me what was on the menu, the barbecue ribs, the homemade macaroni and cheese, and the infamous peach cobbler. And I think that I'm going to head on over. She says it's not too far, so since it's a nice day, I think I'll walk. Wow, the weather is so nice and beautiful. Now, hmm, let's see where I am. Okay, I'm here, and okay, they're there. Let's go. Wow, in St. Louis in summertime, the flowers are always beautiful, and they smell so good. Wow, this is a nice piece of art. It reminds me of my Egyptian heritage. <laughs> hmm, look 
look at that hat. That looks so wonderful. Eating is our destination. But hey, shopping is definitely always on the menu. <laughs> It is such a beautiful day out here. Boy, I tell you, I just love it. Let's go. Hi, I'm Philomena Johnson with Hiosa and Jesus Productions. And once again, welcome to Dining in the Metro. Today, I'm here in beautiful downtown St. Louis. And we've heard the locals talk about, and it's really been a lot of buzz, about Mom's Soul Food Kitchen and Restaurant right here. So we've heard about their good barbecue ribs that are supposed to have that special secret ingredient down home southern sauce. Also the infamous Mississippi greens. And we cannot forget about that great peach cobbler with the caramel to die for. So come on in and join me. Kitchen. You can expect me. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm Philomena Johnson with Dining in the Metro. We've heard so much about the good food that you mm -hmm. have here, right. how the locals are raving about, we've got the chicken and your infamous barbecue, mm -hmm. and oh man, the peach cobbler. Oh, All right. I hear it's like you're in heaven when you eat it. That's what it is. You're in heaven, baby. You're in heaven. <laughs> okay, so hey, so I'm, I'm ready to okay, check well, it out. Okay, well, well, what, what, what I have here is what you see. Uh, this is my menu today. We'll have the fried chicken. I have the chicken and dumplings, I have Salisbury steak and gravy, I have my baked chicken, parts, I have also the barbecue turkey, I also have the barbecue pork steak, and the famous ribs also in the That's what you're going to come for today. Exactly, that's okay. right. All right, and today I also have my side, I have my baked macaroni and cheese, which is very famous for that. Everybody has a lot of love and soul in that macaroni and cheese, okay? A lot of money too, so it's good to like, make, make one at home, right? Okay. Yes, I'm a <laughs> I'm mac and cheese person too. Right. Okay. That's good now. Here we have also the black eyed peas, the cabbages, the sweet potato yam, they call yam, you know, other places we call them sweet potatoes here. Green beans with potato, fried country fried corn, rice, and we have also the uh, mixed greens with cabbage called Mississippi style. But that has pork in it. Now, okay, you, you get pork eating? Yes, sir. But you are good. You like real chicken? You got pork in there for you, too, right? Okay. okay. It might fatten you up a little bit, but you'd be all right, okay? Yes. You know, well, right? hey, everything <laughs> was wonderful, mm -hmm. and hey, I am oh. ready to dine. Okay, you want to talk to him my, my friend, the famous cook, Anthony, there, and he can uh, instruct you on uh, one meat and two sides right there. Sure. And I'll have you seated, and I'll bring you in, okay? Okay, thank you. Right. Hi, Anthony. How I'm are good. you? Well, all right. Like, like you've been cooking up a lot of good <laughs> food here, so I am hungry. I'm ready. You know, I think I'll try some of those infamous ribs that you have. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I've heard so much about them, so I've got to check those out to make sure that um, they're exactly what our locals are talking about. Everybody's talking about the barbecue and the ribs, so definitely got to have those. They look so flavorful, and I, mean, I tell you, boy, I can I'm even see on the front. I can even smell the aroma coming across the counter. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mac and cheese, oh definitely. I actually let mom make it today. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Well, I am here to, to dine sufficiently. Yes, I am. And uh, the peach cobbler. Yeah, peach cobbler's not good. Do one more side with that too. Well, I give one more side? Yes, ma'am, of course. Awesome. I'd actually like to bring the peach cobbler later because I also do it with some alimony. Alimony. Boy, I tell you, you guys really treat your customers special. <laughs> I'll be coming back here. <laughs> okay, well, I'd like to have the mixed greens. Yes, I was done. call them Mississippi greens. The Mississippi they greens. They call the greens and cabbage mix. All right. And I make them with pork and with turkey. Okay, all right. Well, hey, I'm yeah, going to be having some pork. Mississippi Mississippi greens. Remember right. that. <laughs> all right. Okay. You want cornbread or pork, right? Yes. Of course, cornbread always makes those greens. Hey, a combination. You know, I tell you what, I believe I'll take a Sprite soda. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Wow, they're so courteous here. I mean, the business etiquette, what more could you ask for? Thank you. Tell me how good the food is and uh, well, you are. Yeah. 
your first time here, it won't be your last, okay? Oh, I can look oh. at it, I can believe that. The very food is very convincing, so. Yes. Thank you so much. And you guys have wonderful service here. Uh, thank you. Here's your cornbread. Let me move that tray for you. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Well, you guys have great customer service. I'm just. I'm delighted you're happy, man. You know what? We're all going to please you. Yes, and you, and, and you are pleasing today. Okay, I'm going to find out when you're smiling, and I'm going to introduce you to my mother later on. We can just be mom. Yes, okay. and that is another reason why mm -hmm. I did come over here to look to uh, meet the woman mm -hmm. who is basically has made this happen for the community. Yes. Yeah, she gave me a lot of spanks behind it, so I, I make sure I keep talking about the gentleman, so, as well as the cook. So. Oh, you can tell. <laughs> you're pretty lady. I'm going to make sure you be your fine and everything you find for it, all right? Thank right you. Back. Okay. okay. Hi, I'm back, and I tell you what, this plate of food looks so, so good. Here, we have the infamous ribs. I'm just going to taste them. Mm. They are so flavorful. I mean... Now, I'm going to taste the macaroni and cheese, and it is homemade macaroni and cheese. Mm. Mm. Man, this macaroni and cheese is really good. I taste about seven different types of cheeses in it. And once again, it's giving me that cheesy flavor that I like when I eat my mac and cheese. And now, we're gonna taste the Mississippi greens. Let's see how down home they taste. Man, I tell you, that's some serious southern style greens. Hi, well, thank Wow, I mean, this looks so good. I've been waiting for this. Yes. Wow, this is. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to enjoy. I am going to enjoy. This is so good. I mean, look. It has, huh. Peach cover Alamo. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to let you know, this is my mom. This is, I'm going to introduce you to mom. This is the one to start with. Yes, yes, everything's okay. Everything is wonderful. I mean, I tell you what, the sauce on the grill was so good. I, I requested a piece of bread. And I tell you, I know, you know, normally I only do this at home. But what I had to do, I had to take the bread and I had to stop it. So I'm looking into the camera, people. So you guys look into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it was, it was it was very good, and also the Mississippi greens, oh man, awesome with the homemade cornbread, and as I told you earlier, I am a mac and cheese person. Two thumbs up for that mac and roni and cheese, and I tell you, it's wonderful. So, um, tell me this, now I hear you have another location, yes, is do. that correct? Okay, let's share that with our viewers. Okay, we have another location at 1507 Big Fellows, non Soul Kitchen. We've been there approximately 11 years, and I've been cooking uh, about 50 some years. I'm 74 now, and I'm still going. I thank the Lord for that. Wonderful, and that's right, and I thank the Lord for this good food I've had, I had here today. And uh, so, so there you have it. I mean, we're, everything was just so good here. You have a wonderful staff. They made me feel at home, and uh, I'm just thank you, thankful. Thanks for having us today. Thank you. Yes. All right, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, well here I am. I tell you, I have dined sufficiently at, at Mom's Kitchen and Soul Food Restaurant. And as I told you, I need to take a walk to walk off some of that good food I had. And so now, I'm here at City Museum in beautiful downtown St. Louis. And it's one of the most, the main attractions and they have uh, students, they have parents and children, and they have a lot of activity going on here behind me, as you can see. You see some of the uh, people, they're up in the airplanes and the fire trucks. And you know, City Museum is a very, very special part of St. Louis. And as many times, I tell you, I drive up and down the street all the time, and I used to always think the snake that I'm standing here with, I thought the snake was made of tin 
and metal, but as I'm touching it, it's made of stone. The details and the texture, I mean, it's just so cool, people. And you know what else? I've always wanted to take a picture with the snake, so let's see if I can do that. and the architect. And so we're just gonna head right along and keep it moving. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 